The midsize pickup truck market is probably one of the fastest growing markets in the US with more and more new models introduced each year. And for good reason, trucks are getting more and more expensive and customers would rather choose a smaller truck instead of a large full-size pickup truck like the Ram 1500 or the Ford F-150. So sales of the Jeep Gladiator are booming because of the situation in the market with 77,000 units sold only in the last year alone. And for 2024, there are more surprises in order for Jeep to boost sales even more. So. Stay with us while we learn how the all-new 2024 Jeep Gladiator wows everybody. Configurations now let's discuss the available configurations first. Configurability is really important for owners and a major selling point on any truck out there. And here we are talking about cab and bed options. What is unfortunate when it comes to the Jeep Gladiator is that this model comes only in a single variant. This is the full-size crew cab and five-foot bed. Having one configuration simply limits the capability of this truck because there are people who want to get a larger bed and a smaller cab. Customers have to get this large cab because it's their only option. It's the most popular configuration out there but still there are buyers who need their truck for work and they just need a larger truck bed the competition on the other hand has different options available to purchase different configurations are available both in the ford ranger as well as the toyota tacoma that's why we think that jeep should introduce more options in this area for customers to fully customize their pickup truck and opt one out the way they want this would result in a massive sales increase and the jeep gladiator will definitely become the go-to truck for many car buyers out there powertrain options powertrain options are another very important category and play a big role when deciding whether or not this is the truck that you really wanted to purchase in the first place so let's get to see what the jeep gladiator has to offer for 2024 unfortunately there's only a single engine that will be available for 2024 this is the 3.6 liter v6 naturally aspirated engine this engine makes about 282 horsepower and 260 pound feet of torque we'll also lose the 3.0 v6 eco diesel that was available as an option so the 3.6 liter v6 will be the engine of choice for this truck and this is good and bad news for you as a buyer the good news is that this engine is very reliable and doesn't have any major issues the bad news is that this engine is somewhat boring. Many owners describe it as such because it's not able to deliver that low-end torque that's needed for towing and for off-road. So the acceleration is pretty bad with this engine. We could have got the 2.0 Hurricane from the Wrangler or possibly the 6.4 Hemi, but Jeep has decided that this would be too much of a good thing and they decided to add only the 3.6 liter V6 in the lineup. Don't get us wrong, the 3.6 is a really nice engine, but considering the fact that many of the competitors are already offering a turbocharged engine, this makes the 3.6 a real dinosaur in the lineup. So people who want to get a turbo engine would probably go elsewhere and get one of the competitor's models like the Ford Ranger or the Chevy Colorado. What's good though is that Jeep gave some hints that next year would be the year when they'll introduce the 4xE plug-in hybrid version that should come with a 2.0 Hurricane and a large battery pack. But until then, we'll have to deal with the 3.6 liter engine. In terms of transmission, the new Jeep Gladiator will include the 6-speed Eisen manual and the 8-speed ZF automatic. Both of these are really good transmissions that are extremely reliable and able to withstand a lot of stress. Towing and payload capacity. When it comes to trucks, having a truck that can tow and take a good payload is really important since that's what trucks do. Truck performance is essential when it comes to evaluating whether a truck is good or bad. And the Jeep Gladiator does its job really well in all of these aspects. When it comes to payload, this pickup can take up to 1,700 pounds, which is one of the best in its class. Only its bed size of 5 feet is somewhat a limiting factor since it's pretty small and fitting so much weight can be a challenge. When it comes to towing, this pickup truck can tow up to 7,700 pounds which is also the best at its class, and this makes the Jeep Gladiator beat every competitor in the midsize segment. Only the Chevy Colorado can offer a similar performance. Overall, the Jeep Gladiator is one of the best, if not the best pickup truck in the midsize segment when it comes to truck duties. This model simply beats everything and delivers the numbers that are required from it. This is why if you really need a pickup truck for towing and payload, the Jeep Gladiator will definitely do its job well. Fuel Economy Fuel economy is another area that has become really important in recent years because prices of fuel have gone through the roof. So buyers nowadays are interested in the MPGs that each model produces and they want to get the best deal for their money. So what kind of numbers can we expect from the Jeep Gladiator? This model is rated at 16 MPG in the city, 22 MPG on the highway, and 19 MPG combined. Pretty conservative numbers, we must admit. The Gladiator is greatly outpaced by the competition. In contrast, the Chevy Colorado gets about 20 MPG in the city, 25 
25 MPG in the highway and 22 MPG combined. A Ford Ranger will get you 21 MPG in the city, 26 MPG on the highway, and 23 MPG combined. As you can see from these numbers, the performance of the Jeep Gladiator is very poor, and what's worse is that they removed the 3.0 Eco Diesel engine. The 3.0 diesel delivered 21 MPG in the city, 27 MPG on the highway, and 24 MPG combined. So until Jeep decides to introduce a hybrid model, we cannot expect these numbers to improve. Trim Levels when it comes to trim levels, there is always an abundance of choice when it comes to purchasing a Jeep. Doesn't matter if it's a Wrangler or Gladiator, Jeep has you covered with a vast number of trim levels suitable for everyone's budget. The base trim level is the Gladiator Sport. This trim level has only the basics, so you can have the smallest wheels and tires and the smallest infotainment. What's good is that you can option a lot with this model. Things like a hardtop, leather seating, tow packages, everything is available. Next, you have the Willy Sport. This trim is a step above the Sport and has seven. 17 inch aluminum wheels and all season tires. You can also option 32 inch mud terrain tires and install a tow package. Up around the ladder, you have Willys, Freedom, Overland, Mojave, Rubicon, and High Altitude. The high altitude is the most expensive one, starting at $54,575, which is almost $16,000 above the base sport trim level. Overall, the sweet spot when it comes to trim levels are the Freedom and Overland. These two trucks come with a ton of goodies and don't break the bank. Exterior Design The exterior design of the 2024 Jeep Gladiator didn't change a lot compared to the previous model. This is a downside, but that's how things are with Jeep. There are no extreme changes in design language. The only thing that got refreshed for 2024 is the front grille. The newest Jeep Gladiator features a completely redesigned 7-slot grille, and we honestly think that this new grille suits the Gladiator really well because it's very modern and follows the contemporary design approach. Interior Design and Features when it comes to interior design, the 2024 Jeep Gladiator will also not change a lot compared to the previous model. But one thing is certain, and that's the new model, will get a completely redesigned dashboard that will come with a huge 12.3-inch horizontal screen for its infotainment. This upgrade is pretty massive compared to the previous model, which looked very dated with the old infotainment screen. And not only the screen, the software has also changed on the new Jeep Gladiator. This new model will feature the latest Uconnect 5 system that implements a ton of new technologies and is far more functional compared to its predecessor. And on top of that, the screen features full array local dimming technologies, which make the screen very usable under direct sunlight. This new infotainment system also features wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which further increases its usability. Pricing the price of the Jeep Gladiator is quite steep. The model starts at $38,775. The only thing positive from this steep price is that you get a proper four-wheel drive vehicle, unlike with other trucks where the standard is a two-wheel drive model. On top of that, every Jeep Gladiator comes with a crew cab, and this is basically the best configuration that attracts most buyers. But the base model is pretty bare bone. That's why we would recommend investing more money if you want to get something more usable and enjoyable. A more well-equipped model will set you back at least $46,000. Thanks for watching and see you next time.